Hola amigos, welcome back to another episode of TF in Motion. This is a mod pack developed by Grimcore and I'm all myself on the server. Uh, there are other YouTubers on the server, uh, including Function X, Lance Rider, Grimcore, Maze, Dornal. So we're having fun. Uh, also, Pain Ricudo, uh, one of uh, my all time subscribers and friend, is right here playing. He's actually the one building that little house in there. And I built this uh, blacksmith, but I have to deal with these, uh, these guys are there coming i haven't finished actually the the blacksmith uh, house oh look at that he dropped a helmet let's go grab that helmet um so i've been working on this uh, little house in here oh man another hat perfect so uh yeah this is what i have so far i think it look uh Okay, uh, I love uh, how to you can use the lumber. I have some uh, cobblestone wall in here, some brick wall there. Little details, but I still need to put a roof. And uh, let me show you inside. So this is where I'm gonna put the ingots. Uh, so we have a counter space for uh, all the ingots and stuff. This I want to leave open. I think it's going to look cool instead of putting glass as well. Uh, all the tools right there. We have here two forge. We have this one in here with a bellow that I built. And uh, the bellow itself. Really easy to build. Just some leather and lumber. And it will allow you to heat up whenever you put a uh, coal and turn this on. You can right click on the bellow to heat it up so i put another one in here so we have two exactly the uh, exactly identical forges and in here is gonna be the uh, bloomery as soon as we we, we do it uh, i crafted also this alloy calculator uh this one in here really easy you need uh, one of those uh, chips uh, or garnets or whatever that you find randomly when you're mining and what's cool about it is that I put, uh, I want to make bismuth bronze. So if I check the recipe on that, I know I can do bismuth bronze because you take a look at the recipe and you see the percentage that requires. So for example, we need a zinc or sapphire, whatever it's called, sphalerite. Uh, tetrahedra and bismuth in and so I put everything in there and when you put it like that it will tell you okay this is what I need so what I did is I put two stacks of copper that I have a, a ton then you start putting there and you see the percentage for example here if I do that I will have 1220 units of brass if we need to so you keep putting there and once it say unknown, you start putting this, but at the end I came up with this. That's gonna give it the maximum I can put in one of those uh, jars. So what I'm gonna do right now is grab one of these ceramic vessels and put exactly this in here, in there. And we're gonna cook that one. And I was thinking that maybe if I put it where should I put that I think I'm gonna put it right here uh, although there I wanted to put the other anvil so I think I'm gonna grab this piece in here we can replace the dirt after but for now I'm just gonna uh, place it in there put a little bit of straw and then put some logs there you go and we can turn this on uh, that's why I put everything on cobblestone marble uh, this uh, basalt I got it I'll show you in a second this is gonna be our uh, or charcoal charcoal uh, pit that I haven't finished and while that is cooking um, do I have yeah uh, while that is cooking let me show you in here this was a natural generated hole in there a cave so we can go inside, I put some stairs, and 
then you can turn on the uh, the lights in here and this is what I have I could use some uh, jack-o-lanterns I've been mining all these uh, cobblestone from here we have also basalt cobblestone right now for uh, from falling uh, stuff but it's uh, it's not a a very exciting cave but at least I've been getting all my basalt from here this goes all the way around and it turned back in there and it is actually continue quite a while oh oh I have uh, visitors on that side so yeah that's what I've been doing so let's go back to the surface and take care of this uh, Byzantine. That's what I'm gonna use to make uh, myself the new anvil. Uh, that's gonna be the tier two, I think, anvil. And I wonder if, uh, yeah, I, I should make the anvil first and then I will probably make the bloomery right there. Uh, but I wanted to finish up this also this uh, construction I don't know if this looks like probably after that after a while with the chisel as you can see we made some tools uh, using uh, bismuth already so the copper the uh, prospector pick and the hammer uh, let me grab that actually and let's start pouring this uh, bismuth bronze and actually what i want to do is as soon as i have uh, two i'll wait for it to solidify and i can weld it and then we're gonna work it out on the anvil because if you take a look in the anvil here we need double uh, ingots for that okay this is done so this is still liquid we'll have to wait for it there you go so I have one two I'm gonna have three in there okay almost done this one so I'm gonna get ready and actually let me put back my shaders so we can see something there uh, no that's not the one I want there you go all right so let's see uh, still liquid so we'll start from this this is the first one it's still orange as soon as it doesn't say liquid we'll take care of this there you go so we have one and we should be able to use this one so let's take care of this and weld the first one and like that i'm gonna do the rest of this this is all right so let's see what else we can do in this episode i was uh, working a little bit on my my blacksmith area there i put uh, like a second layer there but i'm not absolutely sure of course it missed uh, the decorations i think once we finish uh, it's gonna be uh, looking good um but we'll see i don't know what uh, every time i i grab the uh dynamic lights i get very bad frame so i i think i uh there's a way to disable it actually but anyway i brought some pigs uh using uh, this grain any kind of grain actually uh pigs where it'll uh follow you or any kind of animal so if you see i grab it they will follow me around and um, I put something to cook because I wanted to show you a little bit on the uh, remember when you were working on your skills in agriculture I'm already an expert so I wanted to explain how that works and let's go inside here I put this kind of roof I wanted kind of a, a wood but not using planks so what I did is uh, put some pillars like we're mining and put a bunch of dirt on at this level and then on top of that you can put actually the log piles uh, so all those are just one log in there so to give the impression oh my god no 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 stop 
Okay, so I guess... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, I guess uh, this is not a good idea. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, at least that's a carpenter block in there. Ah, boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to rethink this uh, whole plan. Uh, that's actually one of the reasons I actually put that in there. Uh, I put this fire because I can cook uh, in other methods um, that, but I wanted to see if those logs can actually c c uh, get fire. And I guess they can. Man. Because the only way that I can use them, like if I R shift right uh, no if I right click on these it won't put those kind of blocks in the carpenter blocks and so what I wanted is that that kind of uh, looking stuff in there but man this really sucks and you know right now I cannot place them right there because if I do it's gonna just place the log inside right so I need a, a base in order to place them, but anyway, yep, there goes my roof. Okay, so I guess it's a bad idea to put fire in there. Ah, uh, okay, so, anyway, and why this didn't cook? I don't know, anyway. I put also an ingot here, and you can see it's uh, liquid right now. Let's just grab this back. What is... What's on fire? Oh, it's this. Okay. Just remove that. Um, you can always use... Uh, I wanted to do a hoe, actually. That's the most important thing. Do I have another one there? No, it's a glitch. I, so if I shift right click... You can see I can actually pour the uh, shape in here directly there. So if you didn't knew that, uh, you can do it that like that. So it's very cool. Or you can just wait to get the ingots and put it directly there. What a creeper over there. All right, so I want to make two holes, one for me, one for uh, Pain Recudo. So let's make the second one. And this actually almost guaranteed that you're never gonna break the uh, mold, the copper mold, the uh, ingot mold. Because you're really not trying to force the ingot out of there, right? So very cool. Now we can actually create this and make two holes. All right, I'm gonna leave one in there gonna use the other one so this is uh, cooling down man so let's put that back in there all right I can still actually use this uh, and the only thing I need to do is just not put fire in there uh, I can always uh, put the fire right there uh, so I think I'm gonna stick with this plan and still use this kind of floor because uh, this kind of ceiling because I love the look of it and I love how it looks also in here as a floor for this uh, for this level so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna tell uh, Payne not to cook anything on fire in here anyway uh, so let's uh, let's show you how I'm using that. I'm just gonna put this uh, vessel in there. Uh, we can seal that, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna leave these logs right here. Uh, you can see these are marble bricks because if not, I cannot put the ingots. Uh, if I use um, like this in here, these are. Um, carpenter's blocks okay so just for now I'm just gonna put that in there 
Oh man, that sucks. Is the creeper right there? Yeah, he's still there, this creeper. There you go. Alright, so um, let's use the hoe. So you can see the hoe has different modes in here, like that one, this one for water. So this will check. And actually, you cannot use the shaders, don't really work with uh, this. Of course, now it's uh, pitch black the night. But you can see this will let me know if there is sufficient water in there for for this so if i go whoops if i go over here let me actually go uh let me actually put it right here you can see there is sufficient water in there what about there no nope. you see how this is dark but this one is okay so in theory we can expand the farm all the way till here now we have other stuff in there, uh, other modes. So let's check, for example, this one. This one will tell me if the crop is ready to harvest or not. So if it's green and I go like that, I know I can harvest. So let's grab this one and uh, I'm gonna put this one back in there. And let's check again. And you see this one is ready and this one is not. So this is uh, red right now. And the other mode that we have is uh, this one in there. Uh, actually, this is no mod. And this one in there it will tell me, for example, uh, what kind of nutrients are in the ground in here. So um, let's see, for example, this one here, I'm just going to grab it and combine these two. Uh, you will see the red bell peppers have a nutrient C. They use the nutrient C, and we can take a look at that. You will see it use uh, the C is always on um, this color. So the red one is the A, orange is B, and this one is the C. So if I want to plant these that use the nutrient C, I won't be able to. Uh, actually, I will be able to plant it right there, but it's not. Uh, a good idea because it will never uh, grow that fast like if all the nutrients were there so let's say for example red bell peppers these are C it should be probably okay to plant right there so for example in this one no problem at all now you have to take in consideration that we are in autumn and probably we won't have time to actually uh, grow those so we'll check them out but yeah that's how actually it works but all those options you will be able to see only if you are an expert in agriculture right now uh, so what else we have our trees in there and this looks uh, let me put back the shaders uh, there you go okay so that's what we have right now uh, let's actually Look how big those three grow. I love them. I put two in there, in here. One in there, one in there. But that one is not the same. I think this one has are the ash, and that one is pine. Uh, but they look really nice. Um, let me see what else we can do. I want to craft uh, a crucible. And for the crucible, we need this fire clay, and I have a bunch of graphite, but I don't have a lot of kaolinite powder. Um, the only thing is that we have enough for the graphite, but kaolinite, I need to go uh, grab some. And I wanted to hunt a little bit before winter comes. Uh, we are already in autumn, so I want to hunt before winter and to especially to get more hides and stuff like that so i think we're gonna go in an exploration a little bit let me put this stuff away for now and i made uh, let me actually put this clay mold where all the clay is i should grab actually some some food to take with us and also I'm gonna grab as always uh, these in here all empty bowls or vessels 
because just in case I found some uh, some mining to do and let's go down here and I'm gonna grab something to eat for the trip I should actually put that in there that's better all right that's enough for now and let's go outside let's grab some water all right let's see where we can go and i crafted this uh, rope this is made by jute fiber that you have to plant of course you put it in a vessel with the in a barrel with water and you get this fiber so now if i find some um, and i replanted this i just uh, pick up all the wood if I find some animals, I could probably bring with me with the rope if it's not too far away. And actually now it would be awesome to find some uh, dogs because uh, now I can attach the dogs and they will not run away. Uh, let me replenish my water here. There you go. And I don't know, let's go over that direction, see if we can find something. Okay, there is a pig there, but I don't want a pig. Uh, what is that? Malachite. That malachite powder, or we can use copper, of course. Um, that's not bad, small, but I'm not gonna, gonna, gonna bother. Uh, we have a lot of... Uh, copper mines actually uh, not very far from here i have another one i think don't remember exactly why but it's around this area okay i'm just following and trying to see on my mini map if i see some animals and i want to go to an explorer territory at least for me and see what we can find There you go. Oh, look at that. We have some dogs. We have some dogs and some animals around here. Oh, and I see some. Uh... Oh, that is. What is that? Is either a be a deer or why am I carrying this? That's either a deer or or a or a bear. Uh, let's see here. No, that's a bear. That's a bear, but oh, I see it. Yeah, that's a bear right there. That's actually not a bad idea to to hunt this guy because that's a very huge, uh, very big high. I think if I can, I'm gonna try to push him outside the cliff so let's attack this guy from from up there uh -huh. let's grab i have a shovel man i need to make another shovel i have one only for are you not going down no okay let's see here where's the bear Oh, it's way down there now. All right, let's see if we can catch this guy. Don't fall on top of him. Come on. Oh. Oh, there you go. We have some large hide. Nice. That's what I wanted. Uh, I saw a dog around here. But also there are a couple of uh, animals probably on top of that mountain. That I see on my minimap. Man, I, what, I need to watch my health. Uh, I'll come back f for the dog after. Oh, look at this find. What is this? Poor Tetatrahid. Okay, now we don't really need that. We have a couple of uh, mining areas with rich copper, which is way better than that. 
Let's see what's in here. Oh, ships. That's actually a good find, and I think I'm gonna grab some of those to bring with us. Oh, yeah. I have two of these. Let's actually grab these fellows. You. Uh, actually, what are you? <clears throat> hmm. I don't know what it is, but I think this is a male that you see the horns. And this is a, a female. So you and you come with me and let's try to get down without breaking the rope all right are you still with me my friends yes you are all right let me see if i can go back home with these two little new friends These ropes are actually a little better than the old uh, Minecraft one, so I'm okay, I think. As long as I don't start running and watch out the bear, watch out the bear. Oh my god, that was close. All right, I need to go home before and don't go close to that dog neither. There's a dog in there that I'm gonna come for him after. But for now, let's see if we can reach home before night comes in. Are you still with me? Yes, you are. Perfect. All the way back home. Watch out. There is a ravine right there. And what is that over there? I hope it's not a bear. Oh no, that's the uh, the piggy. Okay. All right. That's my copper axe. Let's open two. So they're okay. Just gonna close it for now and grab the two of you. There you go. We have a couple of sheep and we have some piggies. Now we should probably do up the proper stable at one point. And since right now function and lance right around the server, I think I'm gonna have a problem sleeping. But um, yeah, I wanna go and, f and, and grab that dog as well. Alright guys, so and with that, I think we're gonna leave the episode right now like this. I hope you enjoy it and I'm gonna go mining because I want to find that uh, cowlite to make the crucible. And I found also, I think, what it is a, a gold mine. So I'm gonna try to get as much gold as I can as well. Alright, so see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>